Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. So we have a, a message that we're going to share with you that comes from the guides. In particular, it comes from Aset, who's known as Isis. Um, but it's really always kind of a consortium. It's, it's a group, really, when you get down to it. And our guides, again, if you, if you haven't um, been following us for a long time, uh, they are, there's many of them, <laughs> but yes, uh, Aset, Isis, uh, we have Lakshmi, who is a Hindu goddess of prosperity. Uh, we have Ananda Maima, who was actually somebody that lived recently mm -hmm. and has, has passed on. Um, and we have Sophia, who we view as the goddess of wisdom. We have Kuan Yin, who is a goddess of, of mercy. We have both Marys, Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene as well. Um, and we have Tiamat, who in effect is really Mother Earth, as we're going to be sharing with you guys. And Yeshua as well is, is, is always working with us and has worked with us in, in our healing endeavors. And before we get going uh, any farther in, I just want to encourage all, if you haven't, to go ahead and subscribe and click the bell or double check. Make sure you still are subscribed. We couldn't do it without your support on, on Patreon. Uh, as you many of you may know, Evolutionary has been uh, demonetized for a long time. It was demonetized for more time than it was monetized. And EE -E -E Arts is uh, monetized, but again... The control grid is trying to always stifle messages like this. So basically, they they do all they can to make sure that if you're not putting out a pro-system message, uh, they want to starve you out. And that's just basically what they want to do. Uh, we also have people supporting us on Ko-Fi, where you could do a one-time donation or monthly, just like on Patreon. And Ko-Fi doesn't take any any cut, which is really nice of them. And we do support med medicinal foods, and they do support us. When you use coupon code EEA, it gets you a discount, and it does support the channel. Great people, great products, uh, good articles, too, on how to maintain health. So with that, we're going to go right to the message with Isis Aset. And uh, this starts off with basically talking about Mother's Day in some ways, because, you know, the mother is so important. Mm -hmm. it, she is. Yep. Absolutely. And what she like to discuss with us? She wishes to discuss the power of the divine feminine in your everyday life and your everyday influence. She wishes to extend an understanding that we are not separate from God. We are not separate from Source. We are all one. All of our energies come from your oceans. All of our energies come from your mountains. These energies in which I bonded with when I came to your planet became infused with me and I became infused with you and who you are today. So many of your belief systems have been rearranged in a way that makes it difficult for you to hold on to your power and to your understanding. Please understand that you are not separate from the God Source. You are not separate from me. Our power together is stronger than any ocean can move any mountain therefore 
the issues and problems and obstacles that you have today are truly an illusion. If you can imagine how strong you are, if you are a part of this ocean, if you are a part of this mountain, imagine the energies that you can infuse in yourself and other people. These energies are in every one of you. The divine feminine energies have been altered, have been not accepted by many entities on your planet because they are powerful, they are truth. These nurturing energies are very lightly infused in your culture at this time. You have reached your peak in your distance from the light of source and now you are moving back to your source energy. This means that your bodies are changing. You're all reverting back to the source. Your body's blueprint is becoming stronger than ever before. Your bodies are changing. Please understand that your energy is not separate. You are as strong as the oceans. You are as strong as the mountains. Using this nurturing energy gives you the power to move. The power of doing anything with ease. It helps you walk through any obstacle. These are the energies we wish for you to absorb into your energy field and let them become one with you and your nature. You are not created separate from this planet. Every energy that has been created was created as one. Every one of you are a piece of this Mother Earth. There is no division. The division that you are shown is the illusion. Do not allow this illusion to stray you from your purpose for you have come here to heal and bring new understanding to others that they too are one with this planet. Thank you for sharing. How can we bring this message to those that are so deeply in the darkness that the controllers have wet, weaved You must show this understanding through your own nature, through your own doings. It starts within you. Becoming closer with your planet, becoming closer with your trees, your plants, learning to bond with the earth, 
this creates a magnetism inside of you that gets the attention of those who are still asleep yet still have their divine human blueprint inside of them this subconscious energy will turn and receive attention that is not necessarily understood by those who are not awakened but they will be drawn to you who are utilizing the planet and her resources to sustain yourself it all starts within you when you came to this planet was it when the planet had become earth or gaia or was it still when the planet was tiamat before all that destruction this planet had just molded itself to her new form myself and many others came here to form civilization during your golden age to bring our teachings and our understandings to the humans of earth for this planet had just given birth to her human form children we wanted to help nurture and advise these children of earth teach them her ways teach them to nurture one another and grow me and many others like me came to your planet to bring these understandings and teachings these teachings have been carried on some have been lost some are still alive but not very well known however your original blueprint is coming back into form these energies will show themselves once again in your daily lives as you remember who you are where you're from what the anunnaki and the gg did to humans they claim they created the humans but in reality i feel and and the channel feels that they just simply altered what was here perhaps turning off massive segments of the dna is this correct as you moved out of your golden age you became open to new energies new understandings and manipulative ways of others they did move into your energetic form and arrange your energies to be more suitable for them less combined with the earth and more combined with their gods these entities then became servants of those you know as the anunnaki yet their evolution moved once again back to its blueprint form and you were no longer controllable a great war broke out on your planet between these new humans and the gods you know as the anunnaki creating division creating destruction 
this is when much of your galactic federation was formed to create new laws to protect your planet and protect those inhabitants to bring cosmic understanding and universal laws so that forms are able to mature and advance in a way that is united with universal and cosmic law. Many of these laws are not understood by your people for they are deep understandings. They are One moment please this channel's expansion is not moving her beyond this one moment please we are able to allow her to see the people of earth in a form where they are gathered together in unity. These are the laws and the understandings that have been left for your people to grow with as you evolve, as you become closer to the light the controllers are unable to manipulate your bodies for they are moving back to the exact blueprint before they were manipulated we do hope this brings you understanding of your species in their current form Yes, thank you very, very much for that explanation. This energy that you are experiencing in your human bodies at this time is a very confusing energy for people are being separated at their core some are going back to their blueprint, but others are choosing to go with the energy of the boar. This can bring great chaos and separation and sorrow, but this is the course that you are on this is the course for humanity at this time who would you say the entity Yahweh is briefly this entity, Yahweh, was one of the original controllers of this earth after we had moved out of the Golden Age. He was one of these gods that you might consider being Anunnaki. He was a great controller, a powerful entity that ruled not under kindness or love, but ruled with fear and did great harm among many souls of earth, creating a wave of trauma-based control. This is how they function. 
We should release your channel. Thank you, Asset. Namaste. Namaste. So again, that was on set and covering a lot of topics. And thank you guys for putting up with Rama and Sita in the background. We put them out before going and getting Cindy into a, a trance state. And they just have a ton of energy. So they were in the back porch and making a ruckus. But hopefully you could hear everything that came through. And we will um, go through it and recap. I mean, starting with the last first, you know, basically Earth as we know it is not as old as as they teach us so to speak now tiamat from which earth comes was much older um, but tiamat and we've covered this in other videos um, tiamat was met with great destruction when you hear those legends of these giants that are like a half mile big i mean that's referring back to tiamat time and I've gotten flashes of that destruction out in the Arizona desert that really honestly made me nauseous. Um, and also I felt it in, in Nevada too. Arizona and Nevada, I felt so much destruction, so much devastation that came. Earth was reborn from the remnants of Tiamat and about a third of the planet was literally lost and it was reformed. So about two-thirds of the original size of Tiamat, that, that is what Earth currently is. So we could get an idea of uh, how much larger it was. And so the other part of this, too, is this last cycle with the Golden Age. And, you know, it's the War of the Titans and the Elder Gods. When we look into these old mythologies, and we see also, we look to the Vedas, and we see these wars against these, these beings and this tremendous destruction. It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. All our history that they give us is is, is a crock of, you know what, uh, doo doo caca, but put it lightly there. And everything is, again, history is written by the victors who, in, in this time, right now, the history that we got is given to us by the ones that we would call uh, the Anunnaki, EGG, Draco, AI Borg Collective Group. The, those dark hats, if you want to say, those are the true dark hats uh, behind this. Now, humanity had broken away when it was ascending the last time, and that was that was the wars um, that happened. And, you know, hey, you know, we're doing the same thing again. You know, there was tremendous war warfare that happened and destruction that happened as the controllers didn't want to relinquish power, but humanity was not able to be controlled by them anymore. Uh, so, you know, tremendous death and destruction and, and fighting between the beings that we call the Anunnaki uh, and the Ajiji and humanity occurred as humanity regained its, it started to regain its power. And we are very powerful beings. We might be a lot smaller than them in stature. Uh, but the energy when we are in the, in the higher densities that we hold dwarfs them and they cannot control us when, when we are at full strength again they didn't create humanity as slaves they modified what was here took advantage of the fall quote unquote of humanity again this is where they have you chasing your tail if you believe in a fundamentalist point of view you're lost it, it's it's totally the controllers that are giving us this this storyline and again story, history is a story and it's the story that the Anunnaki GG and Draco AI reptilian control grid is giving us we were much more powerful and we are going to be much more powerful and it's not too far off the changes are happening now right now to us the, the changes that are happening right now are dramatic uh, we do have another channeling that we're going to share i don't think the dogs were as loud in that one um and then we'll share that in perhaps tomorrow's video uh going into some of the changes that are going i could feel them i can feel them i mean honestly it's amazing the difference right now to put it you know in blunt terms it's as if right now we are being purposely overloaded with toxins 
And so again, this is why we did that video yesterday talking about intermittent fasting and again, detoxing in every way, shape or form, especially from their technologies as much as possible. They are not going to be able to control us unless they give, get us to give our power away. And so many of us, you know, we're, we, we mean to do well. We think we're doing well. And, and I was right there, too, as a little kid, you know, I was like, there was many times I dragged my mom to church as a 10-year-old. I dragged my mom to church because I, I always had this distinctive, like, crazy, insatiable appetite for spirituality and, you know, the knowledge of what's going on. So I was the one that dragged her to church. But then, you know, I was the one that decided to go to two or three Bible studies a week. You know, and then I just found so much that didn't make sense. And then, bing, everything made sense when I started to look outside the box, study other traditions. Uh, <laughs> especially, there was one, one book by a fundamentalist pastor that basically tried to say that the Hindu deities were demons. And, uh, you know, that was the great uh, New Age deception and you know it's there that's the evil coming into the world and after i read that book it made me just look deeper down the pathway and i quickly recognized that you know hinduism is really not much different than any other form of paganism out there they're all kind of symbiotic and get you looking at shamanism and starting to realize there's multiple dimensions there's beings all around us we're part of a whole you know gets you going deeper and then all of a sudden i realized wow you know, no wonder this never felt right because that fundamentalist Christian view was the dark side. That's the controllers. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. I know. And, and, and it takes time, though, because we learn from a small age that, you know, we want to do good. And our human nature does want to do good. We do want to nurture. This is this is that Mother's Day nurturing energy that comes out in all of us that we do learn and I don't want to just say moms but there's a lot of dads that are great nurturers too and these are the energies that we really want to um, instinctively we we want to grow those we want to um, embrace those energies and we just do the best thing that we know how and I did it too I I volunteered for Sunday school I went to church but there was always this little voice inside of me saying, there's something that doesn't feel right here because why is, if all of this love and nurturing, why am I feeling that there's also fear if I look into anything else? And is that really fair? And at the time, I couldn't honestly answer myself. I, I couldn't be honest because I wanted to cling to that thing that was, you know, bigger than myself. But over time, it's like, okay, no, I, I do want to look outside of things. I do want to understand why am I so drawn to astrology? Why am I so drawn to channeling? Why am I so drawn to tarot cards and understanding the energies? And that's because I was a part of it for so many different lives. And these parts of me were calling out to come and, and revisit and re-explore. And who am I to deny those energies? And as I looked deeper... I had new understandings because all the stories that were in the Bible came out of books that were even had had older storylines so that they were all borrowed. And when you realize that it's like you really have to look deeper. I mean, to be honest with yourself and fair, you got to look deeper. And that actually really helped me and it helped free my my soul. Absolutely. And, and we've tried to also explain that all these beings from mythology are not the same beings. And again, it depends on where we are in that descending and ascending phase because we descend and ascend. Uh, depending on where we are in the galaxy, where the solar system is, as the solar system is traveling around the central star. And so it's all the beings are not the same. So when you look to beings like, say, the Asir, they're fourth dimensional beings. Who are the Asir? Well, that's that's beings like Odin and Thor. Th those are fourth density beings. So they're not beings on the same density as, say, the Hindu gods or the Egyptian gods, which are fifth density and sixth density. And some can even touch higher densities. And they were the golden and shining ones. But this was a global thing. 
these benevolent beings, the ancient and shining ones, and you could look that uh, phrase up. Why are they ancient and shining? Well, because they glowed. They had these amazing auras. They were uh, energy beings. They were light beings. And, and really, when we were in fifth density, that's more of what we were. We were, we were like them. We were just infants in some ways, and they had a ton of knowledge, but they came to teach us the right ways. And so when you, when you look to uh, you know, the ancient mystery schools, some of these traditions are still passed on in these mystery schools. Some have been kind of overtaken and overshadowed with the dark side um, as well. And you know, it's, it's important to develop that discernment. When your third eye is open, you'll know. It's just, it's just knowing because, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's like having, you know, a black horse in front of you saying, no, I'm white. And you can see with your own eyes, no, it's, you're a black horse. No, I'm a white horse. Well, I could see you're a black. And this is how it is when your third eye is open and functioning. You could just discern. There are some that have said, you know, test the spirits. Of course we test the spirits but it's instantaneously because you automatically know we can tell and we can tell we've, we've had um we could tell often the spirits are attached to people almost all the time before they may before they've actually had an appointment with us we'll already be able to sense and know uh, what's going on, who has what sort of attachment and we could even I mean Cindy could pick up and tell you what big F-A-R-M-A people are on before they we ever even have a conversation with them we could we could tell you know it's just it's part of the ability that humanity has when it's not in this age this is just normal this is how we are meant to be you can't pull the wool over on people's eyes in the golden age there's no lying in the golden age it's right out there so this is another interesting point is you know that's when the galactic federation was put together to you know alleviate any other gigantic war of the quote unquote gods, so to speak, so it wouldn't happen again. And so this is why we have beings like Aset and Lakshmi and you know so many others uh, that are gods in our mythology, but they're actually working with the Federation because the reality is, you know, again the term has been just so misused these these are just highly developed advanced beings of a very high vibrational frequency so it's like we kind of should throw that whole god word out because it's been applied in so many different ways there is one source there's one source ultimately and you don't gotta go looking for it because it's in everything it's all around us it's in every single one of us and then, of course, there are many different creators on many different levels. And so there is a particular creator that created this universe, but there's countless of other universes and countless of other creators out there in other universes. And then there's beings that work with that original creator to sustain. And so that's why there's beings, there's multiple beings inside the sun that are actually working to relay the information from source and from the true God of this universe, the creator of this universe, uh, to us to, to get us back on plan. And, you know, they are way more powerful than these Anunnaki beings or the Gigi beings or the Draco, way more powerful. They're, they're so much higher up the food chain, so to speak, as Joe Rogan will use that word a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, there's so much information that hasn't been um, written down for us to read and for us to understand uh, the information that is written down and in books that's a lot of that is information that the controllers use our abilities are so powerful and we all have them it's just a matter of developing them wanting to develop them tapping in um, understanding our guides hearing our guides and many times when we are working with people they always come to us and, and they say well for some reason i just really feel drawn to see you guys and i'm just not sure why i just know that i i had to do it and it that's for us to remove those blocks that are inhibiting their guides from reaching to them more directly so that's something that that happens i mean people just feel this draw and then we 
put them into alignment we remove the blocks and they're more able to hear from their guides and read their energies all around them and things kind of get a little bit smoother and healing occurs and a lot of really good things happen um, these are the abilities that we have for one another so it, it's something that they want to keep hush hush because if we realize that we can heal each other like this there's no money in that no absolutely and again you know when jesus was in yeshua was uh, accosted by the pharisees and they were you know really going after him he said that your god is not my god because he was referring truly to source and also referring to the creator of this universe which wasn't the being that they were serving the power structure here on earth has been serving the the anunnaki ijiji draconian ai collective that's who they've been serving so when we look to the two largest religions on the planet modern day christianity modern day islam those are controller religions you know just outright you know and obviously it, it will definitely lead to a lot of people unsubscribing and, and many have over over the years but that's the fact and you know we're just letting you know for for your own good <laughs> you have to just look closely there's so many so many people have come to the realization like uh, that they've even said and my, my own mother has said i don't read the old testament i don't like that god <laughs> yeah, I, I just I, you know all I'll, I just want to listen to the parts where Jesus is speaking. I don't want to listen to really anything else um, because again, it's been so twisted and distorted. But when the Anunnaki uh, reached out to talk to us, and they did a couple of times, the way they announced themselves is we are your gods of your Old Testament and you know we are those beings that's who they are and so that's who Yahweh is Yahweh is one of them you know which one in particular um, it doesn't feel like it's Enki or Enlil or any of the ones that we have been brought up knowing through the through the um, Sumerian texts but there's a lot of entities higher up on the food chain that we're not taught about on the Sumerian texts. They don't tell us everything. Again, they viewed us as a slave race that they view they conquered and then altered to make them a more suitable slave race. And that is what they're doing right now. This is what's going on on the planet right now. They're creating a new slave race as we who are aware of what they're doing are not going to go along with their plan and are going to be out of their grasp but so many are going along with their plan and you know they just don't know and it's sad because they've been deceived mm -hmm. it, it is and and you know when once you know something and you see something it's like you want to tell people so at least they have this understanding at least they have a knowing and they can make decisions uh, for themselves but all we can do is our best and move forward when we're able to move forward and when we see something then we see something when you know better you do better so that's where we're at right now absolutely we don't have to worship anything we don't have to worship anything it's nice to have a feeling of gratitude and love for those that have supported you in a positive way so we could look to, to mother earth gaia tiamat in a loving way and be thankful that she is you know giving us this opportunity on 3d and it's it's not supposed to be the way it is it's the controllers it's the controller system that makes it you know maybe not always the most pleasant ride to put it bluntly there and we could also thank uh, the ones that we view as as the gods like the Egyptian and the Hindu gods, the devas, these these light beings, the ancient and shining ones that come and teach mankind in the golden age. We could be thankful. They don't need to be worshipped. Uh, if you send them energy, they could take the energy and they can amplify it and send it back to you. And, and they're benevolent beings that will do just that. They, they don't look for, their purpose is not adoration. You know, when people send them love, they take the love, they send it back. They don't demand obedience. They don't demand all these things. They're not like that. These are just, you know, beautiful beings that are out there that 
we can view them as bigger brothers, bigger sisters, bigger aunts, bigger uncles, grandma and grandpa in so many different ways. They just have more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding than we do. But they teach us the mysteries. They teach us that ultimately all is one. They teach us how everything is consciousness, how we can co-create our reality. All these things are taught by them through their traditions. They don't teach us that we're a slave race. What, what does Islam say? Islam says, well, God created humanity to serve God. And, and basically, when you look at Christianity, it's the same thing. Those are your Anunnaki controller systems. And there are going to be people that, right up to the end, they're going to be waiting to see New Jerusalem come down as a cube, and they're going to just, you know, be glad to join the Borg. But again, this is where our energies are going to split. And, you know, for Cindy and myself, there's absolutely no way we would ever uh, go down the, that collective. Mm -mm. No, no, it's not what we're called to do. Everyone has a has a different calling. So I hope all the moms out there had a really wonderful Mother's Day or all the nurturers, I should say, because there's so many dads and so many people who don't have children that just nurture the snot out of anything they can get their hands on, puppies, kittens, goats, horses. So I just want to say a huge thank you and hope you all had a really wonderful Mother's Day and I hope you continue to have a really wonderful rest of your day and thank you so much. And ultimately we're getting out of this if you can maintain your I integrity and stay true to your higher self you know what's coming is going to be just incredible it literally will be a heaven on earth and we're so close I it's really getting closer every single day as always much love source bless namaste namaste <laughs>